As much as I don't want to tell this story, I have to get the word out there somehow. Greetings. My name is Lucas Hart. I'm just your ordinary 14-year-old boy and a huge fan of the Nickelodeon show The Loud House about an 11-year-old boy, Lincoln, and a family of 10 sisters. It was a joy to watch this show while it lasted. Because one day, I once saw an episode that was so disturbing it put me off watching the show for a while. March 18th, 2017 I walked out of the school bus as it drove off in the distance. As I was about to open my gate, I looked down and saw some sort of black and red flash drive. I kneeled down and picked it up and examined it. It was just an ordinary flash drive with nothing special, so I put it in my pocket and went into my house. I burst the door open and slumped my backpack near the doorway as I pulled out the flash drive from my pocket. I wonder what's on here, I thought to myself. Only one way to find out. I went to my room and plugged the flash drive into my laptop, curious as to what was in this file. I wish I hadn't been so curious though. I booted up my laptop and saw that there was a video file of some sort. So I clicked on the file and my media player popped up and the video started. The Nickelodeon logo and music played, but something was strange about it. Instead of the orange color when the logo appeared, it was in a red tint and the music sounded really distorted. I was confused by this, but I shrugged it off, thinking it was just a glitch or something. I did find it on the sidewalk after all. Then, the Loud House's intro began to play. I jumped for joy. When the intro ended, it showed the title card, which showed Lori with black, soulless eyes with small red pupils, and blood was coming out of her eyes and all over her body as Lincoln was on the background looking terrified. The episode was called, Lori's Insanity, with the usual credits underneath. It began with the usual exterior of the Loud House, then it showed Lori walking down the stairs. Then a pie hits her out of nowhere as Luann laughs off screen. Lori groans. Ugh, Luann! I literally just washed my hair! Sorry, Lori. I thought you'd be more a uh, crusted to it. Luann laughs at her pun and says, Get it? As usual, and the siblings groan. The episode skipped to the next scene. Lori was on her phone talking to her boyfriend, Bobby, but was interrupted by Luna singing loudly in the background. Luna, pipe down! Lori screamed as Luna appeared at Lori's door. Sorry, I'm working on a new song. Luna walked away as Lori groans again. The next scene showed Lori walking to Vanzilla. Then she steps on something sticky. She looked down and realized that she had just stepped in mud because of Lana. Uh, seriously? Lana! Oops. Sorry, sis. Okay, that does it! Lori yelled and stormed back inside. It then cut to Lori in her room, looking really furious. I've had it with all my annoying siblings. They think they can treat me like that? Her eyes slowly turned black with red pupils as she says, Well, not anymore! This is the last straw! The episode skipped to the next day. Lenny was waking up, and then the camera panned down to under her bed, and there was two glowing red eyes, which I thought was Lori. Nothing could prepare me for what I saw next, for it was so horrid that I almost threw up. Lori jumped from under the bed with a knife and slashed Lenny's throat as she gagged and fell to the ground. Lori then impaled the knife into Lenny's back and stabbed her continually. Then she put her body in the garbage. It then showed Luann coming out of her room and was about to go down the stairs when Lori sneaked up behind her and pushed her down the stairs. When she got to the bottom, she punched her multiple times and stomping on her until she laid there, bruised and unconscious. She put her body in the garbage also. That was for ruining my hair! Lori said in a demonic voice. The next scene was Lana and Lola watching TV when Lori came in with blood on her. Lori? Are you okay? Lana asked. What do you mean? 
Royce said in her normal voice. You have blood all over you, Lola said. Oh, don't worry about that. Hey, I want to show you guys something. Uh, okay, okay, the twins said in unison. They followed Lori to the basement. When they got to the bottom, Lori pushed them against the wall and tied them up with ropes. She got out an axe. The twins looked on in horror, and so did I. Lori! What are you doing? Lana said worriedly, as Lola was just frozen. Oh, just some role play. Lori said in her demonic voice from earlier. She swung the axe at Lola and hit her neck with it numerous times, as Lola cried hysterically, as Lana was in a state of pure shock, seeing her twin get brutally murdered. Then what Lori did next wasn't pretty. She ended up chopping off Lola's head as it rolled away. Lori took her tiara and stabbed it in her eye and gouged her eye out as she threw it to the ground. The tiara smashes to pieces and Lola's severed eye could be seen. I nearly vomited again at the sight as Lana gasped loudly. <gasps> Lori! Why did you do that? Lana yelled as tears filled her eyes. You're next, Grease Monkey! Lori said in her demonic voice as she got closer to Lana with a chainsaw. Lana looked on with pure terror as Lori started up the chainsaw. Lori sliced Lana right down the middle like she was a cake. One half of her body peeled off, exposing her intestines and other organs. I actually ended up vomiting. I did not want to watch the rest of the episode, but morbid curiosity got the better of me. A time card appeared saying, five days later. It then showed Lincoln walking in the hallway. Guys? Lincoln asked in confusion about the absence of his family. Lori? Lenny? Lisa? Mom? Dad? Anyone? He called out, but he was met by silence. He then walked down the stairs and sees Lori texting on her phone as usual, like all that had happened earlier never even happened. Oh, hey Lori, have you seen the others? Oh, they are in a better place now, Lori said. What are you talking about? Lincoln asked his oldest sibling. It then cut to Lori showing Lincoln all the sisters' bodies in the garbage, and Lincoln screamed in horror. What happened? Lincoln yelled. Oh yeah, they all got hit by a car, Lori said quickly. And you just put them in the trash can? Lincoln said with a mixture of shock and anger. Relax, bro, everything is fine, Lori assured him. How could you say that? Lincoln yelled. You know what? Lori cried out as she grabbed Lincoln's arm. Come with me. She pulls him into the empty house. For the rest of the scene, it was just Lori torturing Lincoln in violent and gruesome ways, like punching him, kicking him, hitting him with glass cups and bowls. There was other things that she did, but I don't want to go into details. They were just so gruesome. Then, the episode skipped to the next day, and Lori enters the house and sighs happily, not even aware for what she had just done to her own family. Finally. Now that the deed is done, I have this whole house to myself, she said to herself. As Lori walks out of the frame, the episode slowly fades out and the credits come on, signaling the end of this episode. I was too shocked to sing the outro song. Words can't even describe what the hell I just watched. I couldn't believe that Lori would go on a killing spree like that. But before I was about to thankfully exit out, Lori then appeared on the screen and said to me, You're next! Then the video ended. I immediately took out the flash drive and stomped on it until it was in pieces. I then called up my friend Tyler and he quickly responded. Hey Tyler, can I come over to your house? Of course man, Tyler said. I need to talk to you when I get there. I then hung up and packed my bags. And then she appeared and told me that I was next, and the video ended. I had just finished explaining the story to Tyler. Man, that is brutal for Lori to do, was all that he could say. Yeah, well, 
I should be going back home now, I said as I made my way out. When I got home, I then wanted to report a message to Nickelodeon about this Loud House episode. Two hours later, I got a reply. Dear Lucas Hart, We are so sorry that you watched this episode. There was a guy named Ben Jefferson who snuck into Nickelodeon Studios and aired this episode. He is now being sentenced to five years in prison, and he must have left a flash drive near your location. Best regards, Nickelodeon. If you happen to find this episode, do not watch it. Please, don't make the same mistake that I did. This episode had me scarred for life, and I don't want the same thing to happen to you.